Hi friends, this is Vali with Vali Art and I'm super happy today uh, of being able to share with you uh, my me journal. And I'm gonna tell you in uh, not many words the story of this journal. Uh, this was the idea of my friend Donna. Um, this is a prompt journal. So we both came together with 20, um, different favorite things for us uh, to journal and we both worked um, a journal at the same time. So we started it like in August and our goal was to finish it by um, December. It went a little bit over till January. We didn't show it to anybody. We didn't share any of the pages with anybody. So finally this Sunday we had the uh, big uh, reveal and we did a FaceTime and we shared um, how we accomplished uh, those prompts. It was a very engaging activity because um, we all selected things that uh, we wanted to uh, journal about and it was mainly things that um, we are interested in. So we had some um, things or um, steps that we needed to follow. Uh, we needed to work with uh, cereal boxes, any type of boxes from the kitchen. So the cover and the page, the pages, uh, they needed to be from um, cereal boxes or boxes and um, it, on the cover um, we need to use some type of fabric and um, it needed to have a tassel so um, uh, and we needed to use um, rings uh, for bind binding um, so this is what I came about. Hopefully Donna will be willing to share hers so you can take a look at it too. So um, this is how the journal for me started. I uh, found this tassel at the dollar store so I worked around the color combinations and the look on the journal um, around this um, beautiful tassel. And that's why I came up with this co the colors that you see uh, in the cover. So um, the rings um, are from the dollar store and I aged them with some uh, golden acrylic paint and then I applied Mod Podge. Um, I know some people may ask if it works. It works really perfect. Um, it doesn't come off and it looks kind of um, rusted. Um, the cover in itself, um, I created this um, origami clothes. So this is a nice pink dress with a flower as a ribbon and the coat and a nice purse and some shoes. And um, although I never wear dresses, uh, it's something that um, I would like to do one day. <laughs> I, I would have to lose a lot of weight, but don't tell anybody. So uh, for the fabric part, I use this ribbon from the dollar store because I think it complemented the colors really well. And then what I did is um, I applied Mod Podge uh, on top of the whole cover um, so that the clothes would stay together. So even the shoes, they are really, really sturdy. So I was happy with that. So in the back part, I left it like just um, the car box um, color and I added uh, this um, tag and this comes from the printable tags that Artie Mays has. So then when you open the journal you're gonna see um, that I created a pocket 
this here is wrapping paper from the dollar store and this is the doilies from the same shop and this is um, coffee stained so again I applied Mod Podge to make it um, super sturdy um, and then um, Another thing that we needed to do was creating an index. So I printed numbers and I and then I added them um, in each page. Um, so I have um, the whole index with the 22 subjects and when the, war the journal was created. And uh, it says this journal was created in 2020 during the pandemic with my friend Donna. We each created a prompt list of our favorites and we both came out with our own journal full of um, our favorite subjects. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here so I can read because I don't remember. Some of them, they have the, the name in the page and some not. Um, so this one here was my favorite color, which it's um, my pastel colors. Um, so um, I took the advantage of trying a new technique and this was uh, probably you saw it it was in one of my videos in youtube and it was how to create dandelions with a toilet paper roll and instead of doing on top of um, any paper i um, used um, a canvas page um, so this is how it turned out um, I really, really loved it. Very simple te technique. You can look at the video and um, you can come up with these flowers in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> so um, that was my favorite color. Um, this here is my favorite quote and uh, um, it's two quotes uh, from the Bible and um, I picked this one uh, in a card from the dollar store. And then um, another one that I printed in a typewriter um, style. And these um, flowers that I use as a pocket, uh, they came from a calendar from the dollar store. Um, the third page um, was our favorite medium. And my favorite two mediums are watercolors and uh, gesso. So uh, the um, watercolors, uh, it's something that I'm learning. Um, I think I grew a lot since I started painting with watercolors. This one specifically was done with the Elegant uh, Writer Marker and the red one. Um, it's not super detailed, um, but I wanted just to incorporate my drawing of faces. Um, into this uh, journal. So um, number four is my favorite sound. So um, my favorite sound is uh, the one of the rain um, on the window. So I created um, a little window and some raindrops. They are um, created with uh, rain rhinestones from uh, the dollar store and then it has like a little curtain and uh, some uh, rain boots and in the windowsill uh, some flowers so this um, this um, fabric is also from uh, their dollar store I think it's from their fall collection so that was how I accomplished my favorite sound. And then uh, following it was um, my favorite music. And this is a picture of me, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, when I was 17 years old. So at that time, my favorite music was uh, techno and uh, my um, favorite group was Depeche Mode. In this picture, I am in the terrace of my house in Argentina and I'm wearing my, um, a coat from my grandmother that she brought 
or she took from Italy to Argentina uh, with the war. And um, this is the straw hat of um, my nono, my grandfather. And I'm handing uh, my first big radio uh, that when I passed from um, third grade in high school, um, because I passed with good grades, my uh, dad uh, gave it to me. So then um, I put some stickers, um, you know where they are from, I don't need to tell you, uh, of a guitar and headphones, an arrow, and this is from a magazine and it says oldies but goldies, and I used it as a pocket. And um, I um, kind of journaled in the back about the time, the, the years when um, I used to go dancing. And um, this is a quote about music. And here I <clears throat> put a picture of my favorite uh, singer right now, which is Simo. So um, this uh, was, this uh, page was created on top of a musical page and it was prepped with gesso and it was, <coughs> sorry, it was um, dyed with um, the alcohol inks uh, that um, I prepared myself. I also have a video in my playlist on how to, how to prepare your own alcohol inks for $3. So uh, then, we moved uh, to number uh, six, which is the favorite infusion. And mine is um, the tea that um, we drink in Argentina that is called mate. So again, um, I added a picture of me at the pool uh, drinking the mate tea from Argentina. Uh, this here is, um, um, the bag uh, that where the tea comes um, and then um, I did some um, art in some tea bags so I have the kettle the cup um, and then this is uh, the um, kind of the gourd where you drink your mate the kettle and the cup because you can drink it also like um, like um, in tea bags. Um, this one here is a bag of a tea from Argentina, which is um, strawberry tea. And in here, um, I used it as an envelope uh, or a pocket uh, to prepare, to explain how to prepare the uh, mate. Um, so yeah, I used it as a pocket. And in here, um, I created a tag uh, with all the properties of the tea and um, I uh, put real tea in there. So then um, number seven was my favorite book. So again, uh, this is me reading uh, my favorite book, uh, which is La Tregua. Spanish book from uh, um, Mario Benedetti, born in Uruguay, and the the, um, the story takes place in Uruguay. So this this here is uh, the back of the page with some books, and uh, I put this um, ribbon here for me to tag the book that I created. I created, and I hadn't uh, sewn this, and I added quotes, uh, pictures uh, from the author and different quotes and I uh, wrote in there when I read the book and what I thought of it and why I like it and then the book um, turned out to be a movie so I added a picture uh, from the movie because all the actors are Argentinian. So yeah, that's the spread on my favorite book. Then um, it was uh, the favorite uh, flower and my favorite flowers are the hydrangeas. Uh, in Spanish we call them hortensias. So um, I um, extended the page with an envelope. This is um, 
a picture of uh, the hydrangeas and um, here I wrote that the legend says that at least in Argentina, I don't know in any other country, but if you have one of these uh, plants at home and you have a woman of a certain age and she's still not married, she's not going to marry. So you have to take out the plant. So <laughs> in here I created a tag, beautiful, with uh, a magazine cut out. And then I wrote in here about the time when um, I decided to take out the plant of my house in Argentina because I was not getting married and I was already 29. So the plant... Uh, quickly disappeared from the garden one day so <laughs> um, in this here uh, this uh, was uh, the prompt was um, your favorite eyes and I wrote in here that my favorite eyes are the ones that speak um, and I uh, gave myself the chance to try to draw um, an eye and learn how to do it and also I like the eyes that can speak because that depicts a little bit of myself um, I have been a teacher or I was a teacher for 12 years back in the day and uh, I find myself that I don't need to talk too much my eyes um, express what I'm feeling uh, really well without me opening my mouth so that was number nine and um, let's see number 10 was um, your uh, favorite movie and uh, so I um, um, cut a popcorn um, bag and instead of leaving the popcorn I added hearts these are from the dollar store collection from Valentine's uh, day and what I did is I cut a pocket here and that's where um, I did my uh, journaling so my favorite movie for those that know me they know that uh, the bridges of Madison County um, is my favorite movie of all times so I added some pictures and then I um, journaled a little bit on the back um, saying you know why I like the movie and when I read the book and all of that then it was favorite store and of course it had to be the dollars the dollar tree with all the following <laughs> but I decided to go with the dollar tree so um, yes this is me at the entrance of the dollar store and this cute sticker here get in girl we're going to the dollar tree so then uh it's my dollar tree addiction and an arrow going up and then i printed a dollar bill and on the back i wrote uh, my favorite things to buy at the dollar store i should have printed ten dollars more um, because the list is growing and growing but yeah then uh, this one, number 12, is uh, my favorite place. And my favorite place is the beach. So um, this is a picture of me in Brazil. Um, this is almost 20 years ago. Uh, so that's the last trip I took before getting married. Uh, so I took a tech trip by myself and in beautiful Brazil and I created the tag there and this washi tape and the stickers this sticker here and even this ribbon they are from the dollar store favorite bird I have two the cardinals and the hummingbirds and I love them because they visit my uh, backyard in the summer and the cardinal the whole year so I use this um, bag from uh, the dollar store and I added more stickers and I did it like uh, a 3d bag where I painted um, I um, uh, added more flowers on top and um, I added some uh, 
pearls in there and this uh, works as it works as a pocket and here we have um, a picture of the hummingbird and uh, some journaling on the back telling why they are my favorite birds then uh, <laughs> this one is cool 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 um, is my favorite song and my favorite song is um, Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra. Um, I didn't have a chance to listen to it when I was younger but I listened to it for the first time um, maybe 15 years ago when I went to Las Vegas and I was by the dancing uh, fountains dancing waters and they put that song and it's a moment I will never forget you know being in Las Vegas with all those lights and that song and then the meaning of the song it's it's nice so uh, <laughs> this is me dressed as a supergirl trying to fly to the moon so I got um uh, Jupiter, Mars, the moon because they are named in the, in the song and then um, I did the background with gesso I painted it with uh, gelatos and then I erased uh, in white the stars with um, a stencil from the dollar store so this is one of my favorite pages because I don't know it's, it's beautiful and then I, the memory Okay, number 15 is um, my favorite insect. So my favorite insect is uh, the dragonfly. Um, I never saw dragonflies in Argentina. They may be in there, but I've never saw them. So the first time I saw them was here in the United States. So um, I used um, like um, an aged, um, magazine down there and then uh, an um, aged envelope I did with um, coffee and then I created these um, stamps um, and they all have uh, dragonflies and this is um, a stamp here from um, the I think it's the postmaster collection or something like that and then um, I try to write the address with things that have to do with dragonflies 12 garden court smooth wings DF uh, dragonfly 1974 and this serves as a pocket and there is a, a picture or a card of a dragonfly and um, this one uh, comes from the printables from RD Maze it's really beautiful it comes with four and um, I wrote in here about um, dragonflies and um, this here and uh, the envelope are written with um, Indian ink and uh, this pen the calligraphy pen I took calligraphy five years at school so um, okay so then number 16 it's uh, let me flip the index uh, number 16 it's my favorite trip and this is me my favorite trip was to Mexico when I used to live in Argentina I traveled all the way up to Mexico I stayed there for some time and this is me uh, at Merida I took this uh, portion of the trip with a nun so I have very very beautiful memories we got drunk with the nun one day so I used a washi tape uh, here from the dollar store and then um, I um, Donna the lady that did uh, the other journal my friend gave me this page um, and I like it because that's the first letter of my last name my married last name so I wrote all of this with the Indian ink and it's a recount of the trip I should have needed the book to write in there but of course you know uh, we need to keep it short and I decoupaged here uh, a napkin with a map it has Cuba 
trop the tropics and it's it's a map but in a um in a napkin and this is also from the dollar uh, tree and this is also <laughs> from the dollar store going on with the dollar store um i um need to create something for my favorite season and my favorite season is christmas and this um is wood and um you buy this at the dollar store in the children's section. Um, I think this is for them to paint like a castle or something like that and they have this door. So I transformed it and I did it like a, 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 a Christmas uh, picture. So I painted it and I painted the lights and the wreath and I don't know, I like uh, the red doors when they are decorated for Christmas. So I came up with that and this gave me the chance to work with the next page which was my quiet place and I um, used the wood uh, to paint my house and yes my house is my quiet place the place that probably I could not have ever dreamt when I was living in Argentina that I was gonna end up <coughs> sorry in United States and living in my beautiful Victorian house with all the trees in the back and the backyard and the little trees in the front so yeah this is my quiet place and I was happy to paint it and this was painted with acrylic paints and then um, the following one was friendship. So um, I thought this uh, picture was really beautiful. It reminded me of the years that I used to go to the beach in Argentina, in the Atlantic Ocean, and I uh, spent the whole summer with my friends, three months every year until I came here. Um, and so um, this ribbon, um, it's from the dollar store and it matches the colors there so and this is uh, like um, a card to put a picture that Donna gave it to me so I repurposed it and so in the back um, I used some stamps and I painted them with um, these um, kind of um, shiny colors and uh, um, I um, wrote about my friends um, that stood out um, in my childhood and when I was a teenager and my friends now. Uh, then it was my favorite food and I cook a lot and uh, so I decided to uh, create um, like the menu from Valley's Resto. I think everybody enjoys my food they like to eat it, they ask for it. So I decided to write the different courses in here, the appetizer, first course, course, main course, and the dessert. And I wrote in each of them the most requested food uh, from my family and friends. <coughs> so um, in the back of these, um, I put a picture of myself. This is when um, I um, did the Downton Abbey tea party for my daughter. Uh, so I dressed like um, a lady's maid or um, I don't know, someone that works <laughs> downstairs in the castle. Um, so I added that and um, what I did is um, I created a pocket and in the pocket, again, we have a picture of me and I talk about the food that I cook. I added some pictures and then uh, a vintage recipe of um, groceries. So then we had the favorite actor and my favorite actor is Clint Eastwood. So I took advantage of this dollar store um, wooden tag to write his name and then uh, this here uh, is um, the dollar store uh, fabric for the Christmas collection and uh, this washi tape also comes from the dollar store and then I added some picture of Clint there. <coughs> 
And then the last page uh, was uh, my favorite holiday and my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving uh, because I have the chance to eat and um, just um, enjoy the family. So um, I added some tags in here. It says um, three, three pockets. So we have uh, this huge tag that I used to um, journal and I added some stickers, another tag here, and another tag here, and the red track, sunflower. And then uh, in the back, this is the back cover. Uh, what I decided to do that I've been playing around with this idea quite a lot is um, and to create a little notebook of to uh, make the, my journals interactive. So when someone looks at the journal, they can um, go ahead and write something um, in, in this little notebook. Of course it's blank because as I said, we had promised that we were not gonna share it with anybody until it was both of us had finished with, this, with it. So um, I, it's blank. Nobody has seen it yet. So yeah, um, I, I really love the idea of the journals being interactive. I take them to the office uh, when I go. Of course, with the pandemic, it's now it's kind of different. But yeah, um, my journals float around the office um, most of the time. And then um, the people that come to visit in the house, I have them somewhere where people can uh, sit down and read them or take a look. So if they want to write something, um, those words and comments and suggestions will be really appreciated. So um, this here is a picture of me and this is the first time that I went to the beach when I was um, eight months old and I'm there with my mom and my dad and that's back uh, probably in um, probably in 1974. <laughs> so yeah, so this is uh, the prop journal. I'm super, super, super happy to share it with you. I hope you like the idea. If you do, just uh, leave a message, uh, leave comments, suggestions. Uh, you can write even critics about it. Um, but um, I hope it mostly serves as inspiration uh, to work together. This pandemic is uh, something that it has kept uh, friends apart. And so um, this has been a way to be connected with my friend Donna and, um, you know, talking but not talking because we didn't want to give away what we were doing. Uh, but yeah, just uh, it, it kept us, um, involved current and then we ended it with um, like a zoom um, meeting and we saw each other what we have done and we had a great great time and we can't wait to see it together because the beauty of this kind of journals is not only looking at it but uh, enjoying the different textures so I hope you enjoy it as i said if you do leave a comment like it join the channel and we will see each other in the next project bye